Mrs. Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes, how she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a Neuromod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, we must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical keycard. This keycard will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. But don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. set up. This is pretty weird, Quentin. I know, but if we... Uh, tss, 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 I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right?
Salvino, colleague. Won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. New entry. Show. Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Dio Igwe, one of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about Tess. Loyal to Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Michaela Ilyushin, chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when Tess began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient. False. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Paraplexus, nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Sarah Elazar, chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Whoever you are, run! There is no more fool here except you! If you are still a hold of your brain, good! Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close! They're puppets! Bombs! Their master is close! Kill this, or puppets, or both! But do it before they kill you! When no more puppets? Maybe we talk!
perfect soul dead. Now you join them. You. Come to kitchen window. Let me see you. Your suit. What is in your name tab? You? Um, am you? Am you? You kill this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. Bring me nothing, you get nothing. So, I found your sticky note. The one under the desk, with your password. Wait, you were under my desk? Look, you need to keep your password safe, alright? I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. 
Flatter. Welcome, everyone. 